when we last saw our heroes, they were not in a good state. Their secret superweapon was just a broken scanning machine. Food was starting to run out, and Arnav had managed to get into Apmita's head. But rather than managing to alter his software, he'd been flung across the room, an electric shock scrambling his thoughts. And now, watching over them is a mysterious, masked, holographic face. Welcome to Team B, a war robot story. Season Finale Meet the Employer I'm so sorry, but the looks on your faces, so serious, so deeply concerned. First of all, let me offer my sincerest apologies for all you've been through. I know the past 48 hours haven't been easy, and my apologies also for the uh, mild shock administered to you, Arnav. I can't have people messing around with my androids. <clears throat> well, at least it wasn't an explosion. Nice hologram. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you were lucky with the approach you took. That meter does have a whole host of self-destruct mechanisms the poor droid <laughs> isn't even aware of. <laughs> Boy, was I surprised to see you all pop up. Show your face. Uh, that will not be happening. See, I happen to prize my confidentiality extremely highly, especially when dealing with highly trained professional killers such as yourselves. He's the only assassin. Hey. Oh, my apologies. One highly trained professional killer and three amateur killers. <laughs> we require an extraction team. We uh, carried out our part of the task. Hmm. Have you, though? A little birdie tells me you looked in the box. And what was one of the main conditions? As our little electronic friend here has probably reminded you multiple times, if I say, don't look in the box, you don't look in the box. Not that it matters. Mm. <laughs> I really must fire my statisticians. We were expecting you all to be dead by now. Icarus Technologies must really have let their guard down. Well done, all of you. Really. This wasn't an easy job, by any regard. And you seem to have achieved it. Against, well, against all of the odds. You lied to us. Of course I lied to you. Who would willingly volunteer to be a distraction? Nobody wants to be a sacrificial lamb. It's not exactly something I'm gonna put staff on now, is it? That's what freelancers are for. I did pick you all quite carefully. Linda, you may be a brilliant pilot, but you're in way over your head in debt. You keep going after the newest upgrades, because you're scared you're gonna become irrelevant. Hey, that's and not- Louie, her silent companion, loyal to a fault, Without question, following your friends to protect them. I call that a two for the price of one now. <laughs> uh, I see you found another furry friend to nurture. I suppose the stomachs of these mercs are grateful for your survival. I'd have been sad to take away your culinary skills from the world. Of course, I needed a guy who knows their tech. Someone who was bright enough to take down the shields, but desperate enough not to think too hard about exactly what it was he was doing. Ugh, screw you. And Ash. Well, you know why you're here. Your old employer cast you out, and nobody wants to hire someone with so much blood on his hands. I've got room for more. What did you steal? Well, <laughs> I think the question is more... What do they think you stole? And as for the answer, well, I'd say that's a little above your pay grade. <sighs> but well done nonetheless. <laughs> Icarus Technologies is extremely aware of you. 
You've achieved above and beyond what we hoped and expected of you. Oh, you will, of course, be rewarded. <laughs> if you make it off the planet. You're leaving us here. Of course I am. You wouldn't be scapegoats otherwise, would you? But still, I'm a man of my word. On the off chance you manage to evade Icarus Technologies, come by my office, if you can find it. They'll trace it back to you. <laughs> oh, and don't be so naive. Everything's been done through proxies. I love a good proxy. And don't you? There is no proof that we're connected at all. But you can feel free to keep the android as a little a parting gift. So long as you keep him charged, he's relatively useful. What do you mean, keep him charged? His battery is failing. Damn thing's no use to me. What's the point of an android you need to plug into the wall every couple of hours? Just after the end of his warranty period, too. Typical. Wait, what? What the what? hell? What's going on? Oh. I think that's my cue to cut the call. I'd hold on to your hats. Sounds like Icarus Technologies are coming. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, the alarm. I think they've discovered the facility. They can't get in without a passkey, but they might try and dig their way in. Or they might have a passkey from my robot. Shit. So what do we do now? Well, we haven't got time to make a plan. We've got to get down to the bots. We can figure it out from there. Okay, so the way out is blocked. Any uh, idea how many are out there? At least seven. Two Aries, four Phantoms, and one I can't identify. Two. Maybe three. So what do we do? How do we get out? There's one way we haven't thought of. We can always go down. What? The lift shaft? Seriously? It's our only option. It won't be comfortable, but we should be able to free fall down there and then see where we go from there. Hmm. We've got no idea what's down there. This is Earth. There could be uh, volcanoes or... There are no volcanoes on this particular landmass. Okay, there could be... It could be full of water or... Or it could be a dead end. We haven't got a choice. <sighs> okay, all right. So how are we doing this? Ash, what's your weight capacity? I'm thinking I ride along with you, uh, and Louis takes Arnav and Atmeter. I'm taking Ravana. Arnav, you can't. Look at it. He can do it. Arnav, come on! They're coming! Let's go. Keep your eye on Arnav. I don't want him to get left behind. Seriously? It's his own fault. Kid's attached to his robot. Let him be. Not everyone plays the heartless card at every opportunity. I'm not heartless. I've just... Been ground down by a life of bastards and misery, etc., etc., I know. Doesn't give you the right to leave the kid behind. Fine. I'll stay close. But if he stops, it's not my problem. Are we braced for landing? Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm -hmm. There's some kind of creature in here. Mm. is that? And now you're carrying the feral cat around with you. I can see that. He's missing an entire leg. Oh, for pity's sake. Just don't let him near any of my wiring. Arnold is a terrible name for a cat. Brace yourself! Shit. Arnav stopped. Trouble? I think he's broken down. He's... What's he doing? He's climbing out of his Ravana. Well, that's a dumb thing to do. You all right there, Arnav? <sighs> yeah. There's just... <sighs> something wrong with one of the knee joints. I just need to have a quick look. Arnav, we don't have the time! It'll only take a minute. I just... I need to figure out how to take the weight off his leg while I do it. We can't... 
Olaf, we can't wait. We've been lucky so far, but someone will pick us up. Please. Ash, what are you doing? Well, he needs something to take Ravana's weight. I'm helping. We've got to fix the damn bot to get out of here. We should do it quick. Come on. Oh, you've grown a heart. Shut up. You think Scorpion can hold it? It'll hold long enough. How you doing, Arnav? Good. Nearly... There. Okay. He's back. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. No, 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 no. No. C come on. Please. Just one last push. This is it, isn't it? I have a plan to slow them down. What? Can you wedge yourselves into the top of the lift shaft just for a minute? What? Why? I'm going to drive Ravenna right up to the edge, then lock him there. Try and block the opening. Arnav. He'll be a hard barrier to pass. It'll give us some time. Are you sure? His suspension is shot anyway. He won't survive the fall. And his electronics are dying. He'd need a full overhaul. And what's important right now is staying alive. And what about you? You guys open your canopy. If it works, I'll jump down and come down with you. If, if it doesn't... We'll have eight gravity on our heads. The alternative is vigorous technology, so I prefer his plan. He'll buy us some time. I think it'll work. I've done the maths. Sorry, Ravana. Fine, we'll get in place. Just don't fall on us. Scorpion's strong, but not that strong. You think he'll do it? Yeah, I think so. How are you, uh, planning to brace us? I'll jam the legs into the corners, push the tail against the back. Not the most practical solution, but it should make it easy to let go. Oh, okay. Do I need to do anything? Just, uh, just stay still. This is hard enough to maneuver with two people. It'll be a real pain with three. Well, this is it. I'm sorry this is how it ended up. Thank you. For everything. Okay, that is uh, further down than I thought it would be. Arna, it's now or never, come on! You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Do you, uh, do you want to say anything or? You're choosing now to have a heart to heart? We've got to go! Brace yourselves. Ah! starting to wonder. Hmm. Sorry, I was starting to wonder and Louis was demonstrating an unshakable faith in your survival. Yep, we're alive. We have made a discovery. Uh, more surprises, wonderful. You'll like this one. It's a good discovery. We're in a tunnel. Uh, yeah. We can tell that. But it's not just a tunnel. Good. It leads somewhere. You're not doing a good job at relaying information today, Atmeter. I've turned off a lot of my functions to conserve battery. I have reconfigured for concise information sharing. At the end of the tunnel, there appears to be some form of launch pad. This place must have been a massive complex once. Although the roof has collapsed in some areas, there could be some kind of craft further on. This isn't an Icarus Technologies property. There's no formal record of it. It's likely pre-cataclysm. I mean, either way, I think we should get going. Raven is not gonna hold him off forever. Whoa! Uh oh Let's go, now! Can't we go any faster? The average speed of an Ares is well above our current rate. Hmm. 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 
Yes, but I suppose I'd not be in a great state either after a fall like that. Hmm. Hmm. It's not exactly welcoming. Hmm. 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 Well, there's something at the end of the tunnel. I hope it's a ship. If not, we were already in a pretty deadly situation. All I've done is delayed it half an hour. Mm -hmm. So realistically, what are our chances? What? Of there being a ship. I don't know. Ask the android. I don't do probability. This place is starting to look a lot like an aircraft hangar. If you look at the floor and squint a bit, you can see marks that could be old runway lines. And I'm pretty sure those are aircraft bays. So we're not completely screwed? It's not like people usually leave ships hanging around, but who knows? There could be one. We found something. There's a ship here. I believe it's spaceworthy. It, it should provide an adequate means of escape. For all of us? It will take little coordination, but there is room in the hold for the robot. Yes. <laughs> what? You said it yourself, these things are expensive to replace. I mean, that's a little insensitive. Oh, yeah. What is that thing? Wait, is that the ship? Well, look at that. These crates seem to be full. The ship was apparently prepared for a long journey. Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. Things did happen fast during the cataclysm. The food is long life. It appears to still be edible. Hmm. Okay, we're here. Now what? Load your scorpion into the cargo bay, then close the hatch. There's an internal door that will bring you into the ship. Louis is going to attempt to start the engine. Hmm. <sighs> you sure this thing will fly? Someone stocked it up for a long journey but never got a chance to leave. Lucky for us, not so much for them. Louis is already at the controls. I'd suggest you all <laughs> sit down. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It seems as though the entrance has been buried, so there'll be a little bit of ground turbulence. Okay then. Let's go and have a face-to-face -face meeting with our employer. The ship soars into the sky, leaving behind Earth, several very confused Icarus security employees, and, most importantly, the danger of looming death. For now, what does the future have in store for our heroes? Are they going to hunt down their mysterious employer? Well, that I don't know. We lost their trail after they left Earth. The good news is, Icarus didn't catch them yet. Bad news? Neither did we. So, I was wondering, maybe you could find them for us. I'm really intrigued by where it all goes. This was the season finale. Thank you for listening to Team B, a war robot story. Team B is based on the War Robots game universe. Play now at wr.app slash story. You heard Kristen DiMercurio as Linda, Brandon G. Green as Louie, Nathan Blades as Arnav, Felix Trench as Apmita, and Graham Roat as Ash. You also heard the voice of Nico Durantes as their mysterious employer and Christopher Byron as narrator. Caroline Minx was the sign language consultant. The series was written, recorded, and directed by Beth Crane and Headley Knights of Battlebird Productions. Sound design was by Ilya Viktorov. Produced by Pixonic.